this month on Courage to be Curious on our podcast and our blog, all over the place, we're talking about the power of questions. And in these short videos, I'm talking about tips for asking productively curious questions. In this video, I wanna talk about the importance of the tone of your voice and your facial expressions. There are all kinds of statistics that talk about whether it's 70%, 90% of meaning is conveyed in the nonverbal language, meaning it's not the words you use, but it's the tone of your voice and it's also the expressions that your body and your face are conveying. And so that's why it's so important that if we're really trying to get curious, we're trying to exercise the skill by asking people questions, that we wanna be thinking about how we do that so that the person on the other side receives it or even so that we receive it. It's amazing how we can be judgmental of ourselves. We can use a tone with ourselves that keeps us from investigating our own thoughts or our own behavior with curiosity. So what do I mean by this? In terms of the tone of our voice, I can ask a question that says, hey, you know, why do you think that we should head out to go canoeing today instead of kayaking? Maybe it sounds curious. I could also say, hey, you know, why do you think we should go canoeing instead of kayaking today? Sounds totally different. There's subliminal message in there, right? If you watch the other video, you know that I suggested that we stay away from why. So let's try this with a different question word in the front. Let's say we would talk about when. Hey, when are you going out tonight? When are you going out tonight? You can hear the difference, right? We intuitively know this. I'm just bringing our attention to it because we don't always pay careful attention to what's coming through and being conveyed in the tone of our voice when we're delivering questions to people. And sometimes we do generally wanna be curious. I've had people say to me, I'm just asking because I'm curious. And maybe I even believe that, but their question doesn't sound curious. And if it doesn't sound curious, but it sounds judgmental, I'm likely to get defensive and put my guard up. Then we have the facial expressions. And many of us are not conscious about the facial expression that is accompanying what we're saying or doing. And so one of the things I've learned to do, especially since I'm delivering so much on Zoom these days, is almost to become conscious about trying to keep a slight smile on my face. A smile that doesn't feel fake, but feels warm and inviting because many of us have a natural resting face that maybe doesn't look so inviting, right? If you're watching a video, you can see the difference there. And so if we have our arms crossed, if our back is up and we're kind of stiff and tight when we're asking the question, that conveys a message along with the words. If we have a smile, if we're a little bit relaxed, if the tone of our voice, the intonation goes up instead of down and feels soft instead of sharp, it's much more likely that people will want to interact and engage with us and answer our questions. That's today's tip on asking powerful questions. So I want you to go out, try it. Let's stay conscious of the tone of your voice and the expressions that you're conveying with your face and your body as you ask those productively curious questions.